Hello, church family. My Abba. My name is John Jones. I'm the sexton here at Christ Church. Basically, that means that I'm in charge of the security, the maintenance of the building and grounds, and facilitating use of the building. Uh, I've been employed here nearly eight years now, full time, um, and I still enjoy my job. Uh, it has a wide variety of duties and uh, it can change from day to day uh, depending on what's happening around the building. Um, I'm thinking back 18 months ago um, we had a lot of hopes and plans for the future with our new partnership in faith with uh, Mother of the Savior Church or ministry. Um, we were real excited about being able to get together and um, you know build our our uh, broader community and um, you know we were making plans and all this and then then the pandemic hit and kind of changed everything um, I never thought that it was really gonna change our plans much I always uh, assumed that you know, this is a temporary thing, and that this too shall pass. And I believe as a staff, we kind of kept that in mind that, you know, regardless, we were still going to uh, carry our, our duties um, because we are committed to that and committed to the mission. So we always kept that in focus. And, uh, you know, the challenges of... Uh, you know, being open, welcoming, affirming, those were kind of contradicted by uh, lockdowns and, and stay-at-home orders. So, so that was a difficult, difficult time. But what really changed is uh, the methods by which we uh, perform our duties. Uh, Terry had a monumental task of trying to uh, deliver the message and, and the word and a, a totally new way that uh, uh, is a challenge, especially um, by herself for the most part. Um, Terry and I were the only ones allowed in the building and we were nearly here every day. And it, it, it was strange um, trying to work together, but at opposite ends of the hallway. <laughs> uh, but we made it work, you know. Um, we managed our stress and anxiety, and uh, we just kept our eye on uh, on our mission, and and we made it through. Uh, one of the main things that changed for me is my routines. Um, depending on all the activities going on in the building, it could be, you know, we had activities here day and night, almost every day. So I was going before people and going after people. Um, and then my cleaning procedures during the week or during the day um, changed. I tried to uh, do my best to stay vigilant on uh, uh, sanitizing everything. Uh, we moved a lot of furniture around and disposed of some to accommodate for social distancing and all that. And then, you know, the guidelines would change, so we would have to adapt to that. And um, I guess what, what helped a lot for me was uh, acceptance um, that it is what it is and, and uh, we'll just have to roll with it knowing that this too shall pass. And uh, the more uh, noise I heard from outside distractions, the more I had to um, rely on uh, guidance from my higher power, my God, and uh, stick with the basics, you know, of integrity and honesty and uh, willingness and open-mindedness. Um, so, you know, it, it was big changes. We just had to adapt to it, and we rolled with it. Um, not always happy about it, but we, we did our best, and I, I just want people to know that we were on our job, you know, trying to uh, progress as much as we could. Um, 
and that's one thing that didn't change is our, our commitment to our duties and to our missions. Um, one of my main commitments is uh, maintaining the integrity of the church building itself. So, uh, you know, we've had some unprecedented uh, rainfall and that takes its toll on a building of this age. Uh, so that was kind of tough monitoring that, um, knowing that uh, the budget may not be there <laughs> and uh, may not be help available or they're managing their own um, risks themselves. So uh, uh, after a while of cleaning, sanitizing over and over and over, um, I decided I had to narrow my focus on uh, small jobs that have been needed done for a long time, you know, uh, this window may need replaced or, or this gutter needs a downspout or, you know, this room, I have time now to paint this room, um, things like that. Um, there's been some really good things coming in the last couple of years as far as the building. We've made some great strides in uh, uh, renovating some sewer problems we had. Um, I personally have uh, worked the last couple of years uh, replacing uh, fluorescent bulbs, changing them to LEDs. I think I replaced 100 last year and I have about another 50 this year I'm going to do. Uh, so the building is about two-thirds uh, updated to LED technology. Um, so that are some of the good things. I, I'm trying to keep this short and succinct. <laughs> uh, but there's been so much happening and it's hard to condense it. Uh, we have some upcoming challenges. We still in my opinion, we need to focus on the structure of the building itself. Um, like I say, it's a 75 year old building and nature always wins. Um, so uh, there's some foundational issues and, and roofing issues and stuff that we have to address, but we're making continual progress with that um, as much as we can. So. Uh, I guess uh, I still have a lot of hope for our mission. You know, I, I feel the vitality and the energy coming back um, to the church and, uh, you know, our partnership of faith I know is just going to grow and, and um, um, I have faith that naturally we're going to start gathering together as uh, um, we all need. And I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I learned a lot uh, through this pandemic and uh, had a lot of time for self-reflection and, and uh, improving my own um, spiritual condition. Um, I just want to bid you all peace. Salam. Um, I hope to see you around. Hang in there. <laughs> We're coming back. So, love. Uh,